apart from that song, we're not going to take it anymore by Twisted Sister. Yes! I am Finbar, Finbar Bass. Um, don't forget to click on the little clicker box right down there if you want some uh, free bass lessons that aren't on YouTube at all. And uh, let's get it to some uh, Twisted Sister right up in here. All right, so the first part you uh, hear the bass playing in this song is that run. By the way, this is a fantastic song for uh, beginners to learn, especially beginners who like that kind of music and want to rock out with something like that. This is really simple bass line, really fun. So what you're going to be doing there is you're going to be hitting on the seventh fret of the A string just twice. And on the second time, it's going to be quick going to the sixth fret of the A string. Right, just like that. And then you're going to be going to the fourth fret of the A string. And then you're going to be on the um, seventh fret of the E string. Right, just like that. Or you could go and bring it down to the uh, second fret of the A, but I like to use the old um, economy approach here. and. Trying to always kind of keep my hand, uh, you know, as long as it uh, fits with the song, <clears throat> keep my hand in the same spot. So you do that twice. Right. Now, when he goes into the verses, uh, I've seen people play this differently, and it sounds a little bit different on the uh, studio version, um, where really, I mean, I don't know, I, I can't, I mostly can't hear the bass on there, but if you can hear the bass, there's more power to you, but um, anyway, uh, the guitars are pretty strong in the mix, you know, but it sounds like what he's doing um, is he's hitting four E notes, right? Now, a lot of people play this, you know, where they're jamming on the E and filling the space up and, you know, play it, play it any way that you feel sounds good and sounds good to the band that you're playing in, and, but I'm going to show it to you a little bit more. Uh, of a minimal style, uh, so it doesn't kind of uh, cloud everything up. Just like that. Um, like I said, if you want to, you just want to rock out like that, then go for it. Anyway, um, four hits on the E, and then two on the seventh fret of the uh, E string. Just like that. And then you're going to be doing this little fill here from the 6th fret of the A to the ninth, right, back to the 6th fret, and then to the 7th fret of the E again. So it's going to look like this. Just like that. If you're just beginning, um, that might seem like quite a stretch to you, going from the 6th fret all the way to the ninth fret, and also using your pinky over there might seem like a, a difficult challenge, but if you keep practicing and keep it up, it'll get easier and easier, and your hands will get stronger and stronger as you go on. And then what you're going to do is just move your hand up a whole step, or down a whole step, I should say, and you're going to play, the, again, those four notes on the E, right? But then you're going to hit the fifth fret, and you're going to do the same pattern that you did down here, but you're going to be doing it on a fifth fret. So it's going to look like this. So together. Right? And then you're going to repeat this one down here. Starting on the seventh fret. Right? So a lot of people uh, won't actually um, do this next part that I'm going to show you. Uh, when they play, I think I detected on the uh, on the studio version though. So you're going to hit three hits on the E this time instead of four, and then you're going to hit the, your ninth fret. Believe it or not, uh, sounds odd when you play it alone just with your bass, but when you play it with the other instruments or the rest of the music, it sounds right. So just like that. So you're going to hit three hits on the E, then you're going to hit the ninth fret of the E, and then you're going to hit those six hits on the uh, seventh fret of the E. So it's going to sound like this. All right? And some people don't hit that ninth fret, just go right to the seventh fret, like I said. But that whole verses part that I just showed you, uh, with that climax at the end, you do that twice. So the chorus of the song is very similar to the verses. You're going to hit four hits on the E. Right? Um, 
Um, and then jazz, jazz this part up a little bit for the chorus. Normally you'd be all... So jazz this up for the chorus a little bit. Maybe throw the ninth fret in. Right? Mix it up a little bit. Then you're gonna go down here to the fifth fret um, and you're doing something a little bit different here. You hit those first four E's. See that? So what you're doing in there is you're hitting three hits on the fifth fret of the E string. And then you're going to hit the 6th fret of the D string, followed by the 7th and then the 6th again. And then you're going to hit the 7th um, the fret of the A and then the 7th fret of the E. So that whole thing's going to look like this. Just like that. So you're going to do the chorus twice. Uh, after the second time, you're going to do that run that I showed you. Just one time. And then you're going to go back into the verses and do the run again. Um, and then when they're doing the whoa oh ohs the little uh, departure there from the normal song, that sounds like this. So, and what that is, is I'm hitting uh, seven hits on the fifth fret of the A string. Then you're going to hit an open A. And you're kind of using that like a pedal note. You're always going back to that. And then you're going to hit three hits on the fourth fret of the A string. This is all done on the A string. And then another open A, and then three hits on the second fret, and then open. So, I'll do it slow. Just like that, and you do that twice. And for that creeping crescendo part that comes next, what you're doing is you're hitting two open E's, two hits on the first fret of the E, and then on the second fret. And then you're gonna slide up to the seventh and um, ride on that seventh fret of the E string, eight notes. Uh, and you're doing two measures of that. Just like that. So I got a uh, request to do this song, and that's why I did it. So you requested it, and there you have it. Twisted Sister, we're not going to take it. Got to do some more Twisted Sister. Super fun. Super easy, nice uh, kind of basic bass lines for um, the beginners out there. Anyway, I am Finbar Bass. Uh, please click on my little tutorials right down there in the YouTube clicker box. Go ahead and click those because they are not on YouTube. They're free, no obligation, all kinds of good stuff there. Um, you could subscribe to my uh, bass channel if you want, Finbar Bass, if you want to get more of these tutorials. Other than that, have fun with that one.